So when you have equations with fractions like this, um, you can knock the legs out of all the fractions all at once by multiplying everything by 12. And I pick 12 because 3 goes into 12 evenly, 4 goes into 12 evenly, 2 goes into 12. Or you could just take it one step at a time. But if you do it one step at a time, you're going to be dealing with a lot of fractions at once. So uh, my recommendation is to find the least common multiple between all the denominators. And that's 12. Okay, so when you multiply 12 times this, you can think of it as 12 over 1. These two numbers cross simplify with each other, right? That makes 4 and 1 there. Okay, so 12 over 1 times this over 3, these, this cross simplifies to have a 4. And then we got to write t minus 1 in parentheses because the entire numerator needs to be multiplied by 4. And then same thing in here except uh, the 12 and the 4 cross cancel to make 3. And then over here 12 times 1 half is just half of 12. That's 6. And now it's a simple equation, right? Distribute the 4. Uh, that's terrible writing. Okay, that's 3t plus 15 equals 6. 4t plus 3t makes 7t. Negative 4 plus 15 makes 11. Subtract that 11 from both sides. We're having so much fun. And then divide 7. So t is negative 5 sevenths. But the fraction is usually the hardest part there, dealing with all those fractions. So that's what I use to get rid of the fraction. But there's other methods.